Hello? Hi Tash, how are you going? My name is Luke. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, listen, I'm actually calling up because I was looking around online and I saw the burlesque dance classes. Yeah, yeah. Now, this may be a bit weird, strange. I, I know, I'm a guy calling, but I was actually wondering, do you do one-on-one uh, -on -one classes? Now, may sound a bit strange, but I'm actually doing this for my wife. Now, I was wondering if you do one-on-one -on -one yeah. classes. I do, I do. So for the um, individual classes, it's forty five dollars for a um, half an hour class. Okay. Or you can concentrate on any style you like. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to join the group class as well. We'd love to have some boys in the class. Oh well, yeah. I don't know. I'd get a bit nervous with all the ladies around and uh, anything <laughs> awkward popping up. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, yeah. I, I might, but. Right now, she was kind of like, Luke, listen, I, I'm a bit dancing, you know, I don't know why, but girls love the dancing, so, you know, I saw your ad and the burlesque dance, and it says in the description, sexy, sassy, all that kind of stuff, so I was right up for it. It is, it is. Exactly. Now, um, <laughs> well, yeah, we can definitely look at doing the individual classes for you, and that way we can sort of uh, work on a routine if you want, and mm. just specialise into exactly what you want out of it. Okay, well... To be honest, I will be completely honest with you. This is mainly for the bedroom, so I'm trying to trying to figure out the way to, I don't know, just, I, I don't know. I want to I want to learn how to be a bit more sensual or sexual, that kind yeah. of thing. I, I don't. Is that a bit weird? I'm sorry if I'm being a bit awkward. I, I, I don't know. It's not weird at all. No, no, definitely. We can definitely work on that. That's what the burlesque class. Oh, sorry, Tash. Did you say something? Yeah, I was the last class will be a set dance that we learn. Just you have to learn the same moves. Yeah. But with the individual classes, basically anything that you want to improve on or anything you want to work on, we can incorporate that each week and just build it up and yeah, go from there if you like. All right, fantastic. Is there also I don't know if you guys do also pole dancing that kind of that kind of arrangement? Oh, or is no. it... I don't do any pole dancing. Um, there's another place in Renoa that do pole dancing. They're called Sweaty Fitness. Okay, I might have to. Um, call and they there do too. pole dancing. I've been there as well. Um, I'm not sure if they do one on one or just group classes, but yeah, they do pole dancing. They're called Okay, now with uh, with clothing, do, do I have to wear just, I don't know, because it's, it's all sexual, so do I just wear sweatpants and a singlet, or, or what kind of things do I wear? Do, do I have to wear sexual there too? Because I would be uncomfortable there. Well, yeah, it's up to you. For the individual class, um, you can wear whatever you want, but I find if you do wear something a bit more sexy, or rather than just sweatpants, Yep. You do tend, tend to get into it a bit more, so whatever style you're doing, it's best to sort of dress for the style. Okay. Um, I'd probably sort of wear something comfortable as well. You don't want to feel uncomfortable because then you won't get into it. So it's really up to you to dare to what you wear to the class. Well, it's just, uh, I hope you don't find me saying this awkward, but it's just, um, I would like to wear just underwear. I think that would make me feel more comfortable and I could just, get into it but I don't know if that's appropriate or not I just thought mate because if I just wore the long the long bonds underwear and just a singlet I thought that could that would be inappropriate I didn't know or not yeah probably for the pole dancing the girls do wear that um <laughs> for the individual classes I don't think that would be appropriate yeah um, but for the pole dancing you do have to wear at least shorts to get the grip on the pole as well okay okay yeah um, so you probably have to talk to Freddie Fitness in regards to that as well alright well with the burlesque class, can I just wear underwear or do I have to wear the, the sweatpants and everything else? Yeah, I'd probably wear some sort of shorts. I think that would make um, other people a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had that problem before. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, now um, with with this, because I, I am nervous, this is all for my wife. It's kind of a surprise birthday present for the bedroom. Like she... She said something about, you know, dance and all this. She saw it on the, she saw some Enrique Iglesias on the, uh, on TV. I don't know, he's a singer or something Spanish. So she was really into that. And that's yeah. why I was like, yeah, I may as well. But I just, I find it, or, is there going to be much, because my wife can be jealous, so I don't want to get awkward. Is there going to be much touching in the, in the dancing involved? Like, am I, if, are you going to have to touch my hips or anything? Or am I going to have to move with another partner? Or is it just, is it just going to be all safe? Lesson, so there's no interaction with the other partners in any of the classes. Oh, uh, so what about you? Would you have to? Would you have to be touching me or anything like that? Because I do get really uncomfortable. No, no, not at all. Definitely 
that. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Well, I'm getting I'm getting pretty excited about this. She she's um she's really into it now. With all the dances going on, is there a certain amount of time it takes to learn the dances? Yeah, it depends. So usually, um, with the dances that we learn, it usually takes a term. So it's usually nine to ten weeks for the um, choreography. But yeah. it depends how fast, fast the learner you are. Yeah, well, it's it's going to be actually really hard for me to learn because, as you said, I've got to wear the shorts. But due, due to her request, I have to wear her underwear. So it's going to be hard for me to actually learn properly in this class because she's got all these requirements for me. And I don't know, I'm just trying to step out of my comfort zone. Yeah, sure, what you can do is just learn it all just usually in the class and then practice at home usually is what I suggest. So if you want to get a bit more comfortable in that. Yeah, like in request, front of the mirror. You just practice at home. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, well now are you sure there's, there's no, because I'm absolutely fine with it. Is there any touching involved with the, just the instructor and me, just you and me? Is there any touching involved so I can get a bit more you know, into it and learn a bit faster, or is it just simple, just straightforward, just follow the instructions? No, definitely not, not that at all. <laughs> I, I really don't mind the touching. Like, I'm absolutely fine with it. Is this a prank call? I'm sorry. Oh, how are you going, ma'am? You got me. It's LPC Australia on the radio. How are you today? Oh, my God. I was like, what is this? I've got my mum here. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Ma'am, listen, the, the viewers wanted a kind of an Australian radio sexual dance prank call and, you know me, I, I'm just this big guy, I can't really do any dancing at all, so, oh my god. I'd love you to come along for classes, but there'll definitely be no touching of any sort. Yeah, see, I was, I was trying to get this connection with me and you involved, I am single, so I was just trying to put that in there as well. I, I mean, you got me, you got me pretty good. Well, I, I, are you single? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn. What about what about the mother? Is the mother there? Is she single? She's not single, though. No. She's still happily married to Dad. <laughs> oh, all right. I was about to say happily. That can, yeah. So you're happily in a relationship? Yes, yes. Oh, God damn. That's that's a shame. I was looking forward to the sexual dancing with you. I was getting all excited. Then I, uh, then I realised it was a prank call. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you probably thought, oh, this is a bit freaking out, yeah. Oh, God. Well, you got me. Good job. Yeah, all right. How about I tell you I got you again, and I'm just an 18-year-old kid by himself in his room, really lonely, just trying to call dancing people? Then I would be very confused. I don't blame you. But I'm not, so I was just tricking again. See, ma'am, I got you on the radio. Fantastic. You've been a great guest. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. LPC Australia. What was that? LPC Australia. LPC Australia. Yeah, now just look that right, up. Well, thanks for that. No problem, look that up. <laughs> and if you're, ever, if you're ever, you know, the boyfriend doesn't work out or your dad, you know, abandons, whatever, I am free. Alright, enjoy your day. Alright, you too. Alright, see you later. Bye.